We talked to Patty Sue earlier about tonight's field. Well, this field is outstanding, no doubt about it. It, it really, um, you'll see a lot of people in this field that you'll see in 1992 at the starting line of the 1500 meters, no doubt. It's a great field. A little too good. <laughs> Patty Sue Plummer maybe outclassed in this particular field as you got a lot of specialists right next to her in lane one, Gina Procaccio, for the second year in a row in Johnson City last week, beat an outstanding field down in Tennessee. A big confidence builder for her. And this is how they will stack up in lanes. Procaccio, Plummer, Melinta, the world record holder, Yvonne May, who, who is your pick in this race, Yvonne May, Svetlana Kitova of the Soviet Union, Margareta Keshig of Romania, Elisa Harvey-Hill, Britlind Pedersen, who is supposed to be the rabbit, and Susie Favor, who happens to be my pick in this race, so we will see how this race develops. I'm sure people only care who we've picked, uh, Dwight, in this race. Nothing else is important, but it is an interesting matchup of some of the more experienced runners, like Malente, like Yvonne Mai, who's second in the World Championships uh, indoors, like Svetlana Kitova at Soviet Union, who is third in the World Indoor Championships, and someone like Susie Favor, who's now in second place, who many people say could be a very big factor at the Barcelona Olympics. But then Peterson uh, had to wrest the lead from Susie Favor. Susie a little bit too anxious to get out in front, maybe not realizing that Britt is the rabbit. Now she's settled into second place behind Britt Lynn Peterson, who is leading Susie Favor in second, Yvonne Mai in third. She is from Germany. Svetlana Kitova in fourth. There's Britt Lynn Peterson in the blue, and that's Susie Favor in the fluorescent orange, or magenta, I guess it would be, Craig. Susie beat uh, America, another American runner, Vicki Huber, for one of those NCAA titles. And she's such a tough runner, though. You know, she, her coach, Peter Tagan, while she was at Wisconsin, used to do mental training with her, try to get her to beat the mental boundaries that hold a lot of people back. They'd run up ski slopes, they'd run in snow drifts, anything to make them tougher. And she is a tough athlete. She was telling me earlier today that she's looking so much forward to this year because she won't be running three races at each dual meet and each invitational and worrying about conference meets and everything else. She expects big things in 1991 and what a great year for an athlete to come out of college with two world championships and of course next year the Olympic Games as Britt Lynn Peterson starts to push the pace and the rest of the field doesn't seem willing to go with her out in 65.7 the first 400 meters Peterson doing her job and the field lagging behind you know Dwight it's still fairly early in the season but this is the kind of field that you have in an Olympic Games I think this is probably the best women's mile field in history when you look at who's in it we haven't even talked about the woman who's last over on the right of the screen in the blue Tatyana Samalenko who's an Olympic champion at the Seoul Olympics I mean, it's a tremendous field that you can leave someone that good so far behind we saw her last week in Johnson City. She just doesn't seem to be in shape yet. Well, she had a baby a year ago, and she's just really working her way back. Double champion at the 1987 uh, World Championships at the 1,500 meters and 3,000 meters. So let's reset the field. It's Britt Lynn Pedersen leading the field through. Now Yvonne Mai of Germany in second. Susie Favor in third. And Patty Sue Plummer now moving just outside the shoulder of Susie Favor in fourth, Svetlana Kitova of the Soviet Union in fifth, and Doina Malinta in the all-black, the world record holder. She's currently in sixth. It'll be interesting to see how Susie Favor runs. She likes to be able to control races. That's what her coach says. If you can make your opponent run your race, you're going to win. And she doesn't mind being in the front if she has to be there to pull things along. She still can look ahead at Brett Lynn Peterson and use her to gauge her pace a little bit. But at 2 minutes and 16 seconds at the half mile, it's a slow pace. And now Favor is in charge. What, should, what will she do with the lead? She's proven that she can run from the front as well as from behind. But it'll be interesting to see Yvonne May, May of Germany right behind her, watching her every move. Patty Sue Plummer in third, now being passed by Doina Malente in the third. Now Malente and Yvonne Mai have passed Susie Favor. Yvonne Mai now leading this race, maybe wants to slow it down a little bit in order to use her kick over the last 400 meters. Yvonne Mai, of course, who ran very well as part of the East German team, second in the World Championships, now running for Germany, the United Germany. Doina Malente in second, the World Indoor Champion, the 1984 Olympic Champion at 800 meters. Didn't look so good a week ago, but now she's in the hunt, and they all feel good. Everybody feels good right now, Dwight, because the pace, three minutes, 28 seconds at the three-quarter miles, way, way off any sort of record pace. This is now a tactical race, and Doina Malinti knows how to run a tactical race right on the shoulder of Yvonne Mai. 
and there's a group of eight athletes. Now they're starting to drop Gina Procaccio. We thought maybe she was going to make a move. It was a good pace for her, but she's dropping off the pace. Yvonne Mai and Doina Malente, Susie Faber in third, Svetlana Kitova of the Soviet Union in fourth, and this is going to be an interesting last couple of laps. Susie Faber needs to move up because she's going to be a factor in this race. She needs to do what Margareta Keshek, who's an excellent 3,000-meter runner, is trying to do, which is get back up with those leading two. It's so hard to pass indoors, and here's the big move from Doina Malente. This is the last lap. The bell lap rang, and Doina Malente, as we discussed earlier, you said maybe she was just not ready last week, and she takes the Snickers Milrose one mile. Mario Gerrish Keshek, who we didn't see almost the entire race, may have come up for second, and Yvonne Mai of Germany in third, and this didn't develop at all the way we thought it would, Craig. Well, right, that's the problem. A lot of times when you get so many good people in the race, they end up looking at each other and running a tactical race instead of running a fast race. And I'll tell you, it was experience that counted here. Over on the right of the screen, Susie Favor, still relatively new to these world-class ranks. She's run so well in the United States, winning nine NCAA titles. But hey, you're running against someone who has won the Olympic Games. And last year, Doina Malente won $100,000 for setting the world record indoors. Now you get a close-up look at her. She's got an awful lot of gold around her neck and hanging from her ears. Three Eastern Europeans winning the women's mile right here at the 84th annual Snickers Milrose Games, a feature event, and it certainly did live up to the billing that we had on the way in. Doina Malente once again in the winner's circle after not looking particularly good last week, but she came up off a slow pace and was very effective here.